Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. It is Thursday, March 29th, 2012. I'm Michael Eckford. And I'm Fiona Forres. We have a great show coming up for you today. April Fools! <laughs> March 29th. I know. We're not working on April Fool's because it's... Uh, Thank goodness, by the way. It's on, it's on Saturday, 30 days. Some of my worst moments no, in television... Sunday. Is it on Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday? on Sunday. Some of my worst moments in television have actually happened on April Fool's Day. And your day. birthday. Because I... I always want to be encouraging towards people. I want them to feel good. So yeah, every buddy. year, not every year, but a couple of times throughout her career, you don't do it every year because it's too predictable. I usually that way. punk him. She does something like she has someone come on and make a really terrible smoothie or whatever it is, and I'm like, mm, it's no, delicious. Mike. You want to know when we jumped the shark on April Fools? When I had you arrested by a real cop and it backfired on me. No, it wasn't funny. She had one of her buddies no, come in. That it was a wasn't cop. funny because we didn't. Dis he was supposed to be arrested for being in the drunk tank or something, and it turned it. No, let's not repeat the whole thing. We will repeat the whole no, story. It but was terrible. And I Kyle, was I'm still mad tears. at you because it was so terrible. It was so terrible. He I was felt, asking for. I'm sorry. He was asking for. I'm sorry. <laughs> like a DNA sample and stuff. He wanted all kinds of things. I'm like, oh my god. I won't do totally that again. Anyway, out. happy April Fools. And uh, let's look outside. It's a little dreary. It's supposed to clear up. Is it supposed to clear up on Saturday still? Uh, yeah, the weekend's supposed to be I. I so, hope so. Uh, we can look forward to that. But uh, you know, it's springtime in Vancouver. Every day is a bit of a mixed nut. The weather changes so quickly and rapidly. In Vancouver. Vancouver, but especially this time of year. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, it's all the time. Now, I it's obvious. I sit beside a... An adrenaline uh, junkie, a sports a, a, addict. A beauty every day. A beautiful Thank lady uh, who you would imagine uh, gets asked fairly consistently to be in magazines, uh, photo spreads, covers, whatever it is. But No, uh, I don't, actually. And the funny thing is, <laughs> my sister one. likes to play jokes on me. And uh, in August... On the hottest Sunday of the year, she phoned me in a panic. She's a professional scuba diver. She's a professional photographer. And she got an opportunity to marry those things together because somebody said they needed a photographer to photograph some cold water scuba diving gear. And she phoned in me. In August. In August. And said, will you model? And so what happened was... I had to put on like 100 pounds of um, scuba diving gear for the west coast of British Columbia. Great, <laughs> like they were these great new dry suits and I had the tanks on and the weight belt. But the thing was, me and the guy who asked to model for my sister, we couldn't go in the water. And uh, if you look on the top right hand corner, what I found oh, out I yesterday, <laughs> let me give the backstory before we show the pictures here, people. That's Because the backstory was, um, yesterday, my sister started getting emails and she didn't want to tell me because people kept on saying, because she submitted the photos a long time ago. And you never know as a photographer when your pictures are going to uh, be used or if they're going to be used. She started getting emails saying, wow, those pictures of your sister on the internet, I can't believe it. Wow, I can't believe your sister posed for that magazine. Oh my God, your sister, I can't believe the pictures. And she was like scouring the internet going, oh God, what did she yeah, do? She's on Google, Fiona Forbes, naked. But what happened way, was uh, I got the cover. A oh. Diver magazine, yeah, and dog. that's me and Brian so, on the top right because we didn't know the pictures were going to be on the is cover. Is there any reference to what you do professionally, no. or, or you just ended up no. in Diver magazine? And inside, there's a giant spread on me, people. It actually is on the dive gear for cold water diving, but that's me and Brian right out <laughs> modeling on the hottest day of the year. And we weren't allowed. We didn't have any water. We couldn't go in the water. And I don't know if you've ever worn a dry suit in 30 degree oh, weather. Oh, it'd be punishing. I lost 20 pounds. So if you ever need how'd to that leave, sucker smell at the end of it? That's just gross. Maybe. If you did. Well, Women don't smell. No, that's not at all. Uh, but you're sitting in there in a how many hours? Like four. Oh, man. But I know what Diver goes on Magazine. In there. By the way, I also didn't know Diver Magazine is an <laughs> How is her dry suit inflating? It's an international <laughs> magazine. Oh, so that's everywhere. Oh, God, I'm getting emails from people all over the that's place. That's just not Vancouver. You're going to be huge in Tonga. For diving, what oh, I'm known for. That's anyway, nice. uh, so that's, that's the sexy spread that you get in Diver yeah. Magazine. It's awesome. With no reference to what you do professionally, you're just the but girl in the suit. my sister got a photo credit, and she's stoked. Well, that's good for her. Okay, uh, the other thing making waves today uh, is in our nation's capital. Uh, that would be Toronto? No, no, Ottawa. That's no, where it Toronto's is. No, Toronto's the center of the universe. That's right. Sorry, I get a little confusing sometimes. We have a couple guys from Toronto joining us later. But uh, uh, in Ottawa this weekend, Justin Trudeau uh, and uh, Patrick Brazo, uh, two MPs, one liberal, one conservative, have decided that they are going to get together and they are going to raise money to fight cancer. Great worthwhile cause. How are they doing it? They are having a fight to fight cancer. Justin Trudeau, if you've met him, he's been on our show many times. He's a skinny little dude. He's sporty, but he's skinny. So they had the weigh-in yesterday. 
These are the photos. Oh my God, look yes. at Justin. Obviously, Justin Trudeau on the left. <laughs> He's uh, proud of it, though. Conservative MP uh, Patrick Brzeau on the right. And I dare you, I defy you to ever watch uh, C-SPAN ever again, see these guys rise in Parliament, hopefully not literally, and make a speech without Why having the this. Speedo? Without having this flash through your mind. Uh, because he said, uh, what did he say? Justin, I love you, man, but you ain't got a hope. I, there was some joke in there, like he was challenging Justin's manhood, and I'm not talking about like whether he's tough or not. Like, you know, there were all kinds of rival jokes and you know what? things I'm that glad are far beneath my sense Canada of humor. Canada are finally getting interesting. People. I know. So they are actually. I'm rooting for Justin. This is going to be on Sun TV on the weekend. It's uh, uh, an Olympic style boxing match, so uh, points count, not knockdowns and everything else. But it'll be on Sun TV this weekend if you want to watch uh, a couple of politicians beat the And the Jesus best news ever came uh, down the pipes last night on Conan because uh, our favorite man, the reason why Michael and I started our careers in broadcasting uh, because he's Ron Burgundy and I'm Ron. not Veronica Corningstone if you know what I mean. Guess what? Anchorman 2 is coming. Didn't she have a nickname, Veronica? That was my joke. It was like I wasn't going to say Tits McGee, stupid. <laughs> yeah, doorknob. <laughs> he said Tits McGee. That was awesome. Anyway, uh, there he is. Anchorman 2, it's official. Yeah, they're, Officially official. What I love about this is uh, they're all signed on. So uh, Judd Apatow, this is one of his early works. So uh, he's revisiting it. Of course. Uh, all the cast. Uh, yeah, like the whole uh, Steve Carell's back and everything else. So it's going to be absolutely Steve amazing Carell's to watch it. Steve Carell's character in Anchorman, I think, Brilliant. is one of the funniest characters. Anytime I watch that movie, I, I can't even look at him. Yeah, I start so laughing. the day is complete. We leave you with that little gift of knowledge. But now we're going to check in with Elise at Rock 101. Hello, hello. It is a good week to be a fan of Rock 101. We've got great giveaways on all day parts. Morning show, we're going to give you a chance to see Loverboy. They're going to be here April 21st at the Commodore. You can listen to Robin LaRose in middays. He's got tickets for Rock of Ages. And then Dean Hill's got John Mellencamp tickets. Does it get any better than that? Listen all day to Rock 101. And she didn't even mention the world tour. Leg three right now is going on on Rock 101. We will send you to London to see Bruce Springsteen at Hyde Park. I'm going. Not you. You have to wear your dry suit if you're going to do that. Absolutely. And make it inflate with no outside help. I don't without it. Michael, what does that mean? I don't know. You decide. I don't know. We're going to take a break.